I'm Eric Mason with NewShooter.com, and I'm at CES 2019, and I'm here with OWC. How you doing today? And you're Chris, right? I am Chris. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, I saw that you guys have a new eGPU, and I, I was really interested in, in learning a little bit more about it. So what do we got? Yeah, so it's our Helios, uh, Mer sorry, Mercury Helios FX 650. <laughs> Uh, product. So we uh, we took the previous version and beefed up the power supply, uh, made a little bit more powerful um, there, so that we can provide 100 watts of Thunderbolt power delivery um, through that that Thunderbolt 3 connection going to your your, your laptop. Um, so it provides power there, but then internally it's enough power to really drive some of those higher end cards like the Radeon Vega mm -hmm. um, 64 cards that require that that extra amount of power. So. Mm -hmm. So are you seeing that uh, this could be a really good companion for, say, someone running Final Cut 10, Premiere Pro, smaller systems, maybe they're running on a laptop or they have an iMac, then they don't want to buy an iMac Pro? Is this something that's going to help them with rendering and performance and playback? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and actually the new Mac Minis, too. It's a great companion piece for that. Those are How could I forget the Mini? I don't know, those are little powerful machines. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, absolutely, and, and cross-platform, so you can put in, you know, on the, the, the Apple side, um, they have compatibility for the, the AMD Radeon uh, cards. Um, so you can throw in a workstation card like the WX9100, um, go that direction, or you can, on the Windows side, you can do NVIDIA cards. It's um, so like the latest RTX uh, 2080 series cards. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of cool gaming capabilities on that side for Windows. Um, so, uh, but yeah, beefing up the... Uh, the the Final Cut, you know, and, and Adobe Premiere software, absolutely. Um, you know, there's a lot of settings you can work with in there to to, to let the extra cards like this really <laughs> really uh, speed things up and and let you get things done a little bit quicker. Now on the Mac side, you know, with Mojave now, we finally can start using eGPUs. It was really kind of a closed environment with that. And now that's it, we're unleashing this this capability. There's really not. A, I guess there are a few products on the market, right? I guess the Blackmagic design, uh, they have their eGPU. Uh, but all of that is really nice and it's quiet. It does have some limitations. So as far as those type of limitations, what, what is this gonna help maybe give, give the, you know, the consumer <laughs> an option? Yeah, so we, we always have a focus on upgradability. We want what you buy to go longer for you. Mm -hmm. um, that's always been key for us at OWC. Um, it's kind of our, one of our big mantra so um, you're completely able to upgrade this so if the newer greater card comes out next year go ahead and put it in there you know that's you should have that flexibility that capability to, to constantly upgrade as needed um, so we're, we're not we're not trying to create a disposable product here so. yeah I mean you if you spend a thousand dollars on a on a locked box and technology is moving so fast I mean it's crazy isn't it? a year is like a lifetime with the, the cycle of these things so uh, price uh, and availability? Uh, yeah, available right now, uh, MSRP 399 on it. So you can get a, a pretty good AMD card, say for a Final Cut 10 system, you can get rocking for under 700 bucks? Yeah, you can. Um, prices are really good right now. Um, I, it's a video card, so uh, we, we gotta talk about that <laughs> elephant in the room with yeah. cryptocurrency, yeah. you know, always influencing the markets. But um, right now, prices are really good. I, I've seen you know, Vega cards uh, in the four to five hundred dollar range right now, so you can get some good cards for good prices right now. So you, you throw one of those in there, and you, you think you're gonna like double your render speeds and, and get some a lot more performance? Yeah. So we're uh, we're gonna be putting some numbers on our website, um, showing you you know percentage increases um, over certain cards. You know, it's hard to cover them all, but sure. we we want to give some examples on there. But yeah, you know. Um, there's a lot of variables in the mix, so it's always hard to say exactly what you're going to see. But yeah, you can see a lot of time savings by upgrading your video card. So, All right, let's let's cover a little bit of um, what is required to run this box on a PC and a Mac. Uh, yeah, so you're really looking at uh, running um, Mac OS Mojave um, and then Windows 10 on the Windows side. That's it. Yeah. And Mac already has most of those drivers, or they have all the AMD drivers already available. Yeah, um, you know, I always recommend using the latest OS, so mm -hmm. that's, uh, yeah. All right, cool stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.